Hey, Teddy K here for Best Buy Plugin, and in this video review, we take a look at the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom, a phone that is very similar to its sibling of the same name, but with a very different camera. The Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom is not really a corrective device, it's more uh, focused on camera shooters, so people who like to shoot a lot of photos. So by adding a second lens that has a 2.3 times optical zoom, you have some way of getting closer to a subject without using the digital zoom, which is always terrible because it, it over, you know, it pixelates the, uh, the fringes of a photo or of an image. So the phone in many ways is the same on the inside, but in some respects is very different. So we're going to look at that. From a design perspective, Asus made a few changes. The screen size is the same, only they've gone with an AMOLED display here compared to the LCD IPS display that they used in the Zenfone 3. On the back, they have obviously added the second lens. They've changed the fingerprint sensor slightly to make it a little more square. And instead of using glass in the back, it is now a metal frame in the back with the edges looking a little more curved than they did in the previous design too. So when you compare the two here, when you look at it there, and then this is the Zenfone 3 and how it looks, you see that there's a significant difference really in the back compared to how this one is. The fingerprint sensor is no less responsive and is actually very good. I had no problem with it at all. And though the glass was a fingerprint magnet, the metal can attract quite a few fingerprints as well, but it's much easier to clean. So no real problem there. Aside from that, the ports are pretty much the same. Everything is more or less where it should be. Uh, Asus didn't really adjust much here in terms of where the headphone jack is, the speaker, the power button, the volume buttons. Uh, very, very little has changed from that side. For the camera, Asus swapped out the 16 megapixel image sensor it used in the Zenfone 3 and opted instead to go with two 12 megapixel sensors in the rear plus a 13 megapixel in the front. So the big improvement there in the front as well. The main thing, of course, is that you have two lenses and also you also have the manual shooting. Now, some of the most of the photos I shot with this phone were in manual where I could take advantage of the second lens. One problem, though, that I wanted to point out is that you cannot switch lenses while you're in manual mode or in any other mode really unless you go back into auto and then switch it back again very strange i'm not sure why asus did that with the interface especially since they offer so many different photo modes you can choose from it's a bit of a weird thing so overall is the zenfone 3 zoom a better shooter than its sibling the regular zenfone 3 uh, for the most part yes i would say so the second lens does add something different because you could just get closer now, now the aperture is definitely tighter, so the closer you get to a subject, the, the harder it is to get more light to come through uh, to the lens, to the sensors. That is a bit of an issue, uh, but that's going to happen, I think, with any phone. I mean, even the iPhone 7 Plus has the same issue, too. So ultimately, if you are looking for a phone in the mid-range, unlocked, and that shoots decent photos, and at least has certain modes that you can use, um, then the Zenfone 3 Zoom uh, is probably not a bad option for you. Now, competition is a little tight in this respect. Uh, Mid-range phones have been getting better and better, and of course, flagships shoot really well too. This is not going to shoot as well as some of the flagships will, but at the same time, uh, you'll definitely get some pretty good images from this. And that is my review of the Asus Zenfone 3 Zoom. For Best Buy Plugin, I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.